when he came home and said this to me, I'm like, there's no way that sounds insane. There's no way we can't survive like this. And then, you know, after all these years, I've had to realize, okay, trust the process. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 411th episode of Potty Talk, and we have a, another um, episode in our series, the Rags to Riches series, <laughs> and I'm excited to bring this, this plumbing power couple on. Yes, we have another plumbing power, power couple. We do. There may be something to that. Mm -hmm. All right, who do we have? We have Tony and Allison Wally of Wally Plumbing in Mobile, Alabama. Cool couple. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, it's heart of gold. Heart of, heart of gold, gold, yes. Mm -hmm. A great story. Mm -hmm. Hey, you're going to want to check it out. Hey, let's, let's bring them on. Let's okay? do it. Let's welcome, help us welcome Tony and Allison. All right. Hey, welcome, Tony and Allison. Hey, it's great to have you here on Potty Talk. Thank you so much for joining us. Hey, thank you Thanks for having, for having us. us. Glad to be here. Oh, right. We're super glad to have you Yeah, here. we've been looking forward to talking with you guys. You're such a cool couple, and and uh, you're going to just have uh, tons of uh, nuggets of gold mm -hmm. to drop. I just know it. So, yes, another plumbing power couple. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. Nuggets. Well, let's get out of it. Well, I can't get past. Look how beautiful they look. I know. <laughs> I, we were just talking a little bit before about the the color because it's Wally Plumbing, um, and what it's in um, yeah, Mobile, Mobile, right? Mobile. Right? Mobile. Okay. Mobile. Mobile. Okay. Yeah. So, um, just, the colors are just so good. So, if you guys are watching after the after the program, go and check out Wally Plumbing in Mobile, Alabama, and just their logo is so so good with the pelican and the colors, and that you guys yeah. kick charge did that, right, Dan? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 So yeah. it's it's just amazing. So anyway, right. branding branding's important here. It's important. I don't know if we go that way. They may come up here. Who well, knows? Well, the I mean, the color is just it's superb. So well, well thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, let's get let's get into it here. I just wanted to find let's find out what what was um, what was life like before MDP. Well, it was it was hard and it was complicated, chaotic, and overwhelming. <laughs> <laughs> and we could go on and on, but the, the the words that come to mind are are just that just complicated, uh, never ending, and we just couldn't really find a we we didn't know of a way out. So. When, when I started this business, I didn't really have, it wasn't, it wasn't necessarily for the money. I just felt like I could do a good job, you know, and I felt like I wanted to be a leader and I felt like I could be a leader, but quickly after I started the business, after I grew from myself and actually needed help, I just really, I became available to everybody all the time as the customer's you know, we started a new construction and like a lot of people that find their way to MDP. Yes. You just become available to everybody all the time. And that list of people that you're available to grows and grows and grows. And then eventually, <clears throat> eventually you just, you, you're not available to your family because you're available to all the bosses that you've acquired. Oh, that's, a that is line. a great way. That's of putting a great, it. I've never, it, it put it in that way that you now have bought, <clears throat> you left a job right before most plumbers, you know, had a, a plumbing job before and they didn't want to have any bosses well if you start working for gcs that's all you got yeah you got more bosses yep. yeah yeah i'm gonna hack that so if you hear I think that that's, good. Yeah. that's, 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 that's a good yeah, that's, a good that's good exactly Thanks, right because we, we we start with the idea you know we find that we you know we're in plumbing and we, we discover you know that we're good good plumbers right and we're pretty good at the craft and then we decide well instead of making that guy money i'll I'll work myself, you know, and I'll, I'll make more money myself and have more freedom. Tons of freedom. I'll have more freedom. Oh, right? yeah. But we get You're into your own it. boss now. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> yeah. But we quickly find, right. we find out that we acquire bosses. Mm -hmm. We wind up acquiring more. We, we go from one boss, uh -huh. you know, and we think we're going to, we're going to become the boss. But what, what we yeah. do is we actually start acquiring all these bosses and they start running our lives. All right. That's good. You know, that was a great way to put it. That's a good way to put it. So, all right. So there you were before MDP doing that, um, um, you know, working for GCs and, and all that, right? What was what was life like as far as um, family and, and marriage? Yeah, home life. Um, home life. I can speak to that. It sometimes felt very lonely. You know, I'm a, I was a stay-at-home mom. I Once we got pregnant with our daughter, um, I stayed home with her, quit my job, and, and it would just be lonely sometimes because I felt like, you know, he's busy, his mind is elsewhere, and I have the little kids. So it was kind of lonely. But we've always had a fun time together. We love to laugh. We've had a great relationship. But on the other side of it now, it's so much more than I could have imagined. Love hearing uh, that. 
Love hearing that. Um, so what about you, Tony? What was it like? So, you know, you've got all these bosses now, right? All these <laughs> bosses that you're answering to. Um, yeah. And how long, let me ask this, how long were you in business um, before MDP? Um, so I went into business in 2006 and I found MDP. It feels like I've been with MDP for a very long time, but it's really been maybe, maybe two and a half years, but it was, it was, a, and, and I, and I feel like we were, we were, we weren't thriving and we were more than surviving, but I knew that there was no way out of my availability to everybody unless I got some help, you know, I, um, and, and, and it, and it did, it did get to, to a dark time between Alice and I, because of those bosses that I kept acquiring the boss at home that matters most took a back seat. And it just, you feel like that's the only way. Like I have to provide for my family. My wife is now at home. I have a little girl who's 16 now. So it's been a, <clears throat> it's been a, a while, but you kind of, and, and I've heard some of my guys at work say this, you just, be, you become numb and you become like a tool in somebody else's toolbox that just gets used up until, I mean, if you let it keep going until you're no good anymore and they don't care, they just throw you away and get another tool. Mm right on numb that's oh. a good way to put it because it is it's just you just become you just it becomes um um robotic like, right. right robotic said, is a great yeah, word yeah, robotic or you're just a you know hamster on a wheel yeah, hamster you on know wheel. that that kind of a thing mm -hmm. so and i love that you, you know that's the point we, we talk to you know literally, literally hundreds of guys and and we hear it as it is a common theme it's not always that i'm just totally struggling you know i'm i'm you know we're not we're not dying here um, but I'm not thriving either. I'm just, I'm just yeah, caught right. in this, this, this is middle ground of just mess. Right. And I'm assuming you had work, right? So you've right. been in business for quite some time. Yeah. 2006. We, had, we had work, we had, we did have work and we had plenty of work and it's probably because we weren't priced right that we, we, you know, um, <laughs> but you know, we just, it, it, from a business point, I would say we were, we were more than surviving, but from a relational standpoint, that's what kind of gets not talked about a lot and that's what mdp has helped us most is because the business i could have kept going and just i would call it semi-successful but the relationship between allison and i was was going the other way because i at, when i would come home from work all i would want to talk about is work because it was constantly on my mind and then i was available to everybody so when my phone would ring she may have been telling me about something that was super important that happened at home or regardless, it was important to her. And then when the phone rang, I was somewhere else, you know, physically, yeah. well, mentally, whether I was physically there or not. And mm -hmm. and I know for years, like we would do, we found ways to try to help us figure, maintain a good relationship and make things better. But um, one thing that I would do that I found whenever we could, get away like just for a weekend get away or physically leave the city it his mind would detach a little and so I was like we're just gonna get vacation as much as we can which was almost impossible because it was just a weekend getaway or two you know but but the weekend getaways I think kind of helped us for a long time mm -hmm. just so to he, survive yes yeah, so <laughs> even, able... yeah. even then even then we were in Destin one time, I, Destin, Florida, yes. which is about two and a half hours away from us. And I remember specifically, I was in the parking lot of the, of the condo and somebody, one of one of the GCs called and said, Hey, we're working this Saturday. <clears throat> one of the concrete guys hit one of your pipes and it's leaking now. And we had to go home. No, and it, was, oh. it was such a, um, that's what I mean by yeah. like dark. And, and there were times I remember we would, cause we would go to Destin every year and, um, he would, ha he would leave early in the morning and then come back at time to get off. And I'd have, you know, been at the pool with the kids or done things with them on my own. So it was, it was, it was bad. It wow. looking, you didn't realize how bad it was when you're in it until you, you know, have a different perspective once you're out of it. And it was, it was rough looking back on it. Mm. But you felt like that's what I had to do. Right, Tony. I mean, that was, yeah. Did you become robotic? And I felt that's what he has to do. So, you know, we didn't know any other way. We didn't know any other way. So you, you did, you finally, you did join the million dollar plumber, you know, success Academy and, and come on with the program. And so well, what happened? What was something that hit you, you know, that 
I, I guess, a, yeah, a change or an change aha everything. moment or whatever. Yeah. That well, just, I, so, I would look, I would look on YouTube for things like whatever it may have been. If I was having trouble with an employee um, or I was having a tro trouble with any situation that had to do with the business. And by that time, you guys had so much content out, you would pop up. So I would, I would listen to, to potty talk. And then um, it just, you could tell if, if, if you're a plumber, you can tell who's been through what, and, and you can tell by your content that you've already been through it because of the things that you say. And, and, and it started slowly becoming more and more relatable and over and over. There was so much content. I just started consuming it in, in the truck, you know, and, and the, the one thing that, the epiphany that 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 got me to sign up for MDP was when you and Laura were talking and, and Laura said, you don't have to be available to everybody 24 hours a day. You don't have to be on call. Let somebody else do that. And the statistics show that you're not going to retain those customers most of the time anyway. And I had already listened to so much content and, and some of the content is counterintuitive because I didn't have the mental tools to deal with to make it make sense to me, yes. I said to myself in the truck, I said, if she's right about that, then I'll believe anything they say. <laughs> wow. Oh. <laughs> I need to watch the lovely Laura saying. brought it. I guess I did. Maybe I was on the <laughs> He brought it. She was, she was, she, brought, she was preaching on that. And, one. and the that? funny thing is when he came home and said this to me, I'm like, there's no way that sounds insane. There's no way we can't survive like this. And then, you know, after all these years have had to, realize okay trust the process tony knows what he's doing he really does you know and and so i just had to say okay if if they say this is best and you say it too then i'm on board but that was a huge eye opener for both of us like wow and the freedom that that gives our employees to be home with their families like right that on. means so much and i've seen our employees have um you know had more time for vacations and doing things with their family and that's so that's such a blessing to us to I, just have that for them yeah absolutely i love that and there's a lot there like you're talking about that i want to hit something tony that you said mm. about uh the mental capacity and i love how you're being transparent about it guys this isn't about that you're not smart enough no at, at all. Um, and I hope I, that's why I try to come across and hopefully, and Tony, now you're involved. If I ever come across in a different way, you're smack me upside the head. Okay. <laughs> no, I, I know where you're going. Okay. <laughs> but the, I, it, it's, if I can do it, you can do it. But what happens is we're so caught up in, in the plumbing itself and we're thinking like a plumber and we need to think like a plumbing business owner. Okay. And, but we're so caught up in the plumbing. It's like you said, like you, the example of being there in the, the parking lot and the GC calls and about the plumbing, we're all, we're stuck in those kinds of things. So these other concepts that really help our businesses scale. Um, and even be, beyond that, the, the, the concepts, the way of thinking of things that helps us attract guys to come work for us and to retain them, to be able to attract the right kind of customers and those kinds of things. We're just so busy in the work that we just can't even necessarily comprehend our minds just aren't there. Yeah. All right. right. Um, but these things aren't difficult. They're, I mean, they're really pretty simple concepts, but it's just in putting it into play. So For you sure. did, you took that concept, you know, which we live that. That's one, you know, we, we say all the time, look, um, you, you know, I've, I've made, I'm not gonna blame the lovely Laura. I've made every <laughs> stupid mistake that you can do with a plumbing business. All right. I've You're in so good company for sure. Right. <laughs> and so the heart of this matter is guys, I just, I don't want you to make these mistakes And here. And here's the simple equations that, that I've discovered. Mm -hmm. And one of the equations is for a life that we're all about what we call the freedom lifestyle, right? You know, mm -hmm. we want to make money with this plumbing business, but we want we want a freedom lifestyle. We want to be able to enjoy our families and to be able to do things to get away mm -hmm. without worrying about plumbing. Mm -hmm. All right. And one of those things was working, not yes. working nights and weekends and on call. Yep. And I remember that was a big step for us when we decided to do that. Mm -hmm. And when I did it, I kept track of mm -hmm. I kept track of the customers of what we would have got or did we lose anybody? And mm -hmm. after a month of 30 days of doing that, I really wouldn't have made any more money. Mm -hmm. Guys and, are happy, and we didn't lose anybody, and right. our guys and everybody was happy. Right. And at that point, we started attracting guys because then that was part of the offer to guys. We you paid paid well, but we gave them a family life. We're right. not going to do nights and weekends on call and holidays and all right. that. So, what was the transition like, Tony, when when you decided because you had a, a yeah. business that was operating and running? Yeah, you had a you, going concern. Right? Yeah. So, what was that transition like? Not only for you, but then with your team. 
Well, it was it was overwhelming a little bit. Um, and and a lot of the stuff that the million dollar plumber program teaches is counterintuitive until you have those mental until you have a way to make it make sense. You know, we talk a lot about in order when, when we're communicating with our customers, what we say has to make sense to them or it's not going to, you're not going to, you're not going to serve the customer well. So as a, as a, you know, if I'm the customer of MDP, it was, it was counterintuitive until that credibility, until I just trusted the process <clears throat> and you have to take a step of faith. It's not just going to, it's not just going to happen. You have to take those actionable steps to just do it. I remember I was talking to Sarah Delaney with Plumline. I, I kept saying, give me a reason why, like, how do I just stop? I, how do I just, how do I get off call? You know, cause they, they still answer the phones and on nights and weekends for us. And, and I was looking for this big explanation of, of just make it make sense to me. And she just said, stop doing it. And, <laughs> and it was like a long dead pen silence. And I think, I think Laura said that too on a, on a, on a podcast, you're just not going to get a long explanation. You do have to step out in faith and, and realize that people that have been through the million dollar program, million dollar plumber program have already done it. So just trust it. And you are at a point, everybody is at a certain point, whether they got themselves there um, and you have to know where that is and you have to accept that you, you know, you may need help and just look at the companies that are thriving with the million dollar plumber program. They're here to help. Mm. I appreciate you saying that. Um, yeah, that that it is that easy, you know, right? We try yes. to overcomplicate it, right? So Sarah Delaney is so great. Oh, every time Sarah Delaney is so great because she always is. Um, she's very straightforward. You're not going to go into flower whatever with Sarah. Um, it, it's straightforward, and she's right. How do you do it? You just stop. You stop. So if you're watching right now, plumbing business owner, PPC, whatever, watching, you're going. To, could we ever? And you're talking, looking at each other. Could we ever? stop doing nights and weekends and on calls, not only just for us, but for our guys. The answer is, of course, yes. Tony and Allison would give a resounding yes to that. Um, but mm -hmm. then how do you do it? What's the big process? What do I have to go through? What's all the right. things? Nothing. You stop. You just stop. Yeah, you just stop. And it's not as, it's like a monster under the bed. It's like you, you think it's going to be this, uh, there's a monster under the bed, like when we were little. And then you realize if you just go through it, you're, you're, you you've been battling if you're still in business you've been battling anyway so you may as well battle something that's a proven you get proven results or otherwise you're just going to keep battling with uncertain results and and mo more than likely if you're not if if you don't have any guidance at all you know there's a reason 95% of plumbing businesses fail and mm -hmm. i i can tell you why I, I was you know and as far as the the drawbacks to it after like a week or so it was like how's it going? You know? And he's like, just fine. <laughs> like, like the monster of bed, it's not there. It's not there. <laughs> it turns yeah. out it's fine. There's yeah, no that's a great I analogy. wish there was a way to make people believe that without going through it. Cause it would be such an easy sell if you could just, you know, if, if people would just believe it without going through it, but that's what, you know, that's what faith is about. You have to have, you have to step out in faith and you really do have to jump off that cliff and just, Trust that the parachute is going to open. Well, we've been conditioned, right? I mean, you know, we, we come from the trenches and we're, we're working with our hands and with plumbing. I mean, we work all, I mean, we just been conditioned. We work and it, every it's emergency call. You got to be there. What if someone calls because, you know, they got a leaky water heater on the week, you know, like we got to go fix it. They need to have it done or, and, and I'll lose the money, right? I'll, I'll lose the money. Well, mm -hmm. you know, you don't have to go. Let someone else go. Right. Okay. And there's, you really don't lose the money. Will. Right. And we're not That's talking right. about, right, Tony, right? I know you guys, when you know, I'm sure you didn't tell your guys, well, okay, now we also can slow down through the week, right? No, no, it's, <laughs> we take it, we're working we're stepping on the gas during the week. <laughs> exactly, exactly. As I told, you know, we told our guys, I know you're telling your guys, hey, the, reason, the way we can not have to work nights and weekends and on call and all that is we take every job Monday through Friday, you know, we're, we're here to get it done. We're here to win the eight game every day, mm -hmm. eight to five, right? Yep, absolutely. Yeah. Um, and so for those of you watching, again, if you just, if, you know, never join MDP, Success Academy, okay. whatever. That's fine. If you just do this one thing. It'll make your life. It, it'll make your life so much better. Um, Tony and Allison are right. I mean, it's just, it's a totally different way to live. It just is. Try it for 30 days. See what happens. Mm -hmm. Try it for 30 days. If you're like, oh, there's just no one. How much? Try it for 30 days. And then if you're like, okay, I hated that. I loved working on call and, you know, 
holidays are coming up, right? It's more than mm -hmm. like I'm trying to think this is going to be released right before the holidays. Um, holidays are coming up. Okay, right, well, go ahead and work Thanksgiving, Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or or I, not. Okay. Right when you're sitting down for the turkey, <laughs> right? Right when you're sitting down for the, the family meal, it never fails. The phone rings. Yeah. It just we remember fail. those days. <laughs> or or you're, wait, you're waiting for it. The anxiety mm, yes. of waiting for it. Yeah. The, the mental stress that it puts of just having to wait. Like the weekends that he was on call, we knew, well, don't plan anything for this weekend. You know, that was kind of how we just kind of, it was a, a wash the weekend. We just. And I've gotten up from so many dinners. You know, you think back on the, the, the dinners that you had to leave early, you can't plan to go to the movies because you know you're going to get a call. Mm -hmm. And and even even if you have a crew of guys, when they go on call, and you guys have said this over yeah. and over, when they go on call, you're you're wherever you are. If you're sitting at dinner, you're thinking, man, am I am I going to get a call? Am you I going to have to well help be them? Or, <laughs> and and it was the same thing for my 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 general manager. Now he's he's there's no way we're going to be able to get off call. I just don't believe it. And I said, man, I believe it. So we're going to do it. And and they 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 they. they, they if you want to motivate your guys, tell them that they don't have to work call and they they'll turn into loyal employees really quick. Absolutely. Because I love think, it. think about, I mean, because again, in plumbers, most plumbing companies, 90 probably plus percent work nice weekends on calls and, and all that. Right. So if you can tell a guy who loves being a plumber and he's a great plumber um, and a, a valuable employee, if you can give him that gift and that's what it is, it's a gift. Um, you you do have you've got dedicated employees, and right. like you guys said, you're you're changing their lives. You're allowing them now to have some breathing room, having some time with their family, be able to take vacations, be able to have a whole weekend without having the anxiety of the phone's going to ring. Have you, uh, Tony? Have have you found that with, with your their mobile and your company by you know not having on call and after hours and all that? You know, it's always hard. You know, it's always hard to find guys. In fact, for 35 years of me being in the plumbing business, it's always been hard to find guys. It's not just something new, but it always has, because, you know, we always, you know, we wait to the last minute. Now I need a guy. Right. right? Um, but have you found that it's helped you attract what's been your experience in, in solving that issue? Every call is an opportunity for your plumbing business. Stop missing those opportunities with Plumbline. Plumline is a 24 seven, 365 days a year answering surface exclusively for professional plumbing companies. Whether you're the plumber owner still in the truck who needs someone to answer the phone, need the service line answered nights and weekends, just want to catch those overflow calls, Plumline is a no-brainer. Sign up with Plumline today. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash Plumline and mention that you're a Potty Talk listener to receive priority onboarding. It, ha it has helped a lot. And, and plumbers, they all know, all the all the plumbers, they, hang, they go to the supply house and they know each other That's right. and, and they all know they all know how they're being paid and how they're being treated and it just spreads. And, and, and yeah, we've gotten, you know, through our recruitment software, we've gotten a lot of inquiries and people turning in their applications and we're always recruiting and, and we don't have a shortage of, of people that want to work for us. And, and, and we're glad about that because we do treat our employees great and, and they treat us great too, because it's a, it, it becomes a mutual thing and the culture turns into a family type atmosphere and it, it, it has really improved and before I would maybe hold on to a guy a little bit longer because I knew I was going to mess the call rotation up right on uh, people yes. have oh yep. that's a good one yep. mm -hmm. you lose one guy and everybody's got vacations planned at the time we it may have had four or five guys up. Yes. yeah we plan it out a year in advance and then when you lose a guy the call rotation gets messed up and then everybody's upset understandably and you're you're forced to try to hire somebody really quickly and get them up to speed it's just a it's a real train wreck that and is a great nugget no go ahead allison uh, one thing that i've I ju i'm just thinking back from hearing from employees like you would always hear them they would leave so and so because they were on call all the time didn't even get like we would at least have them you know, it wasn't every weekend, you know, it was spaced out maybe six weeks or so, but it was just constant every two weeks. And they would just say, I'm so sick of that. And that's why they would come to us before we even, you know, took the on call away. So that was just something, a constant complaint that we always heard with employees. Oh, mm -hmm. definitely. Of course, of course. So how, and how did it affect you financially? Did, did you notice any, I mean, did you take a big dip in your, your revenues? 
No, and I did. You you've said you've said what you did on a podcast before, and and you you took notes. And and Laura said, well, just do it for thir- you know, see see what happens when you when you when you just just test it out and see. So I went back and I started taking um taking the data of what we made, what we paid out what we paid out a guy just to be available and he didn't even go to a job because nobody wants to not be paid sure. uh, to be available. And right. um, it was really, I mean, it was really a low percentage and it was, it was all coming from an emotional place of being exactly. scared because you just feel like every plumbing company has to be on call and you can still be open 24 hours a day, as long as you have staff that can answer and book the calls and the most people can wait. They don't want you out there anyway. Especially right on, on the weekends, they don't. Of course, and, and I, I'll I'll hit on that. I got I got I got to speak into <laughs> that because that's what I found. I got that was, from you, by the way. <laughs> okay, I'll, 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 <laughs> because that's what I I found that first of all, no one wakes up in the morning and wants to call a plumber. Mm-hmm. You know, we talk about that, right? No one wakes up yeah. in the morning and wants to call a plumber. We love plumbing. We're all about plumbing, but no one who calls us woke up this morning and said, "Man, I want to call a plumber and have some guy in my house." Okay. <laughs> Okay. But Hey, the good news there on the sales side, they did call you. So they're already sold. They're not shopping you. They're not looking around. They're already sold. So that's, that's for a different, different discussion. <laughs> but um, I don't know where I was going with that. You lose your train I lost my, train, my train of thought, but well, they definitely don't want you out there anyway, especially, well, they especially don't. on the weekend. Exactly. That's where I was going <laughs> with you, it. Tony. I found out. Thank you, Tony, for You're welcome. This, this whole guy in the right direction. <laughs> that, that when we got out, they were already mad, right? If they had to call you after hours. They're already upset with you. So the idea that, that you're your, they're your customer, you didn't come to save their day at that point. They're they're upset. You you're really in their world you're a now. Reminder of it. Of and so I point. found that there was a negative connotation mm-hmm. with my brand. It wasn't that I saved them. It was I'm the problem, and they had to spend all this money, and and, and you know, it cost them to be you know up, you know, had me on the weekend when they wanted to be at the cookout or whatever. Okay. What was going we're on? We're part of the problem. We were part of the problem. Mm-hmm. That's exactly. Yeah. yeah. And so, well, they bring... definitely had plans on the weekends. Of yeah. course, <laughs> who doesn't? Even if it's just to sit and veg out in Netflix just to relax, <laughs> right? So you you so... mentioned how do, how do you stay open twenty four seven? Well, you, you know, the, the the short answer is we have somebody available all the time to answer. Um, our staff is there during normal business hours, and then Plumline takes over. Yeah. They, they they take over. If our phone rings more than one time, it there's that short pause after the ring, and then it goes to Plumline. And they are uh they are very um regimented and trained, and our staff is trained in the exact same way. So that it's very seamless because it's we we have we're on the same system so right um and and it's so nice to come in the next morning and especially on monday morning you talked about the sunday scaries it just being that anxiety starts building on sunday what, what's are we going to have any calls but it's so um nice to see that plumb line has booked calls and they've taken care of our customer because most customers just want to know that you're gonna you're gonna be there right and on you don't want an answering i mean you don't want a voicemail to pick it up because right. if I get a voicemail, I'm hanging up immediately. But mm-hmm. you know, it's just been it's just been a really good thing for us. No, we love that. And we yeah. and the Baldwins, we interviewed them as well. Hopefully, if, if you haven't watched that episode, go check that out. But they talked about the same thing that 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 gave them the the ability to serve the customer and then get up the next day. You know, you get to the shop and and you know your board is halfway full. So right. yeah. um, when, can I, I want to go one place and then we talked about the branding earlier, but I do want to focus on that because you've been in business again for quite some time since 2006. Mm-hmm. I'm going to assume you did not have that brand um, back in 2006. I'm, I'm going to assume I'm going to steal Dan and Danelli's phrase that you are blanding and not branding. <laughs> would I be correct? And then absolutely, that? that would be absolutely correct. Yes. So it was Wally Plumbing. It was still Wally Plumbing. You know, you know how we feel about naming after names or whatever. Mm-hmm. But Wally's a, yeah. a pretty great name, and the way that Dan was able to tie the Pelican and all the things, I think it really works. So, what was your truck like um, before before you got kick charged? Well, you could probably guess, but it was a white van <laughs> and it had a blue a blue mm-hmm. Wally Plumbing logo with a water drop. It was yeah. it was a creative water drop, but it was a water we drop. We were so proud of it years oh. ago. Yeah, we can relate. We were so yes, it, <laughs> we were so proud of it. And and you know you, you get you get kind of when you when you sign up for Kick Charge, you kind of get from other people that have been through it. You get the 
you, they kind of tell you what's coming. And I just knew Dan was going to say, well, you got, you, you're named after a last name. And I was prepared for it. And I, and I, and we talked about it and we were like, well, again, you got to step out in faith. And if he would have said, we really want you to change the name, I would have done it. But I, I asked Dale and I said, you think he's going to make you change the name, make me change the name. And he was like, I don't know, man, just, t-, you know, he was trying to be supportive and, and I, <laughs> he, he just, uh, Dan said, you know, I think we can work with it. It's easy to say. And I was like, yep. cause you know, There's Wally. I would have done it, but I, I'm thankful that we were able to just get the branding done. And <laughs> yeah, the name, know. yeah, the branding. So as we learned, right, the branding is so important that it's that our brains need to be able to comprehend what it is within a second. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it needs to stand out too. That's what we talk about when Dan Antonoli talks about the blanding, you know, our trucks, we all did it. We got the white truck <laughs> with our logo, you know, blue logo right, on it. Orange. Right. And it, it blends mm-hmm. in with all the other white trucks in the blue yeah. logos. And, and so you got it in the, so the brain doesn't even pick it up. Um, and it's amazing. You know, we, we hear all the time, once, once you get your truck, you want you get your brand and have one truck and it's branded, right. All of a sudden you hear your customers saying, we see your trucks all over yeah. town oh, yeah. yes. everywhere. They say, I mean, all the time. they would say it before because there were just, you know, there was seven of them, but as soon as we got them wrapped, it was, it was unbelievable. They know, they know now. I mean, everybody knows who we are. We bought furniture the other day and the guy recognized us or recognized the name. And he said, oh my gosh, I see your trucks everywhere. They look so amazing. We're like, just a random stranger. He recognized. And, and that's, that's why that's amazing. important because people yes. go here mm-hmm. and say, you know, plumbers near me mm-hmm. and up comes, you know, they can come up Rotor Rooter, you know, Ben Franklin, Wally Plumbing. Oh, I like Wally mm-hmm. Plumbing. I like that. Oh, they got that Pelican. It's a, it, it feels good. So that was the other thing. You know, mm-hmm. it's, it creates a positive emotion. And with your logo and, and your, your you know, the Pelican, whatever, mm-hmm. your friendly Pelican. Yes. You know? yeah, we go across <laughs> the Bayway a lot. So we have Mobile County and Baldwin County. And in between those two, we have a Bayway. And um, every time you go across it, there's just Pelicans, you know, gracefully yep. flying across. So everybody can relate to that. Relate that, right. And Allison came up with the Pelican. And and Dan and Patrick, they uh, they ran with it. And I'm sure there's a, there's a whole team of people that I'm not naming it kick charge so i don't mean to leave anybody out but they were they were just really they were good and and there were a few different variations you know they were trying to get what we wanted but as soon as that one came across we were like oh man and and it was very emotional too Mm -hmm. right oh Oh, it is very yeah yeah i always tell tell the guys it it was a really fun process it turned out um you know i didn't know what to expect and it was just fun the day that we had the zoom and saw, you know, different uh, variations of things and then kind of, oh, we'd like this. And then you tell them the colors that you'd like and to see it, you know, come to life was really, really fun. And so well, we're really proud. How you, should, you should be. Yeah. Wally Thank Fleming you. is one of my favorite, favorite logos. I believe yeah. Wally Fleming is on our website. As a matter of fact, is. Yeah. I think we show it off. I think we, it, I think it makes, <laughs> makes MDP look really good. <laughs> show it off. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> And I mean, it's recognizable in the community, right? So it's it's not mm-hmm. just, you know, a personal thing. It, it becomes um, a community icon, right? So that Pelican is, is, is known. Right. Love and it's important. And, and here we, we're talking about these things that have nothing to do with plumbing. I know. You know what I mean? It <laughs> has nothing to do at all with plumbing. plumbing. But it has that everything branding. to do with mm-hmm. plumbing business success, right? right. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. And that, it's so, so fun. It's so fun to use the branding because we're so excited to get our shirts and, and the guys – you know they they got new uniforms after the rebranding and our and our sign goes up and it's just so fun because it just you know you get to start buying things like the swag like you know just oh, the, yeah. that's a fun part. all the things the huggers <laughs> the the pins the and it's very fun because it's not just it's such a drastic difference between what it was to now what it is and and I was I was worried that people were going to be like oh well, we want the old logo back because I had you know I I thought it was going to be like everybody was Oh, everybody. Wally Blooming, they don't, as soon as, they don't care. I got was it. not worried about that. <laughs> I, I don't know why I was. I, I was. think about being a woman and then you have, you know, just somebody who needs a plumbing company, you call and I think about our old creepy white van showing mm. up at the house. And then this one showing up that I know that people feel, okay, this, 
feels like somebody legit is coming in here now. Yeah, there's an expectation. That's right. Yeah. Exactly. Listen to that. It's part of the experience. That's Listen, a, that, that's, that's, a, that's a woman's insight, which is extremely important because it happens to be our customer. This is Jones. This is Jones. Mm -hmm. And and you heard, and I loved how, how you put it, Allison, that the old is creepy. So the other way was we felt like maybe, um, you know, Tony, I would feel like, well, I'm, I'm being frugal. You know, I got, I got a used old truck. I can fix it up myself. I'm not spending a lot of money on this, you know, vinyl stuff and all that. Mm -hmm. And that my, my plumbing work is what sells. Right. But that's what we find. That's not what sells. Cause we're in, we want Mrs. Jones wants to feel good and safe with this, so they must know what they're doing because Absolutely. they look like they know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Does that yeah. make, I mean, safe. I know it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Safe is the operative word there and, and comfortable. And I just really thought, and, and MDP was, was, was what taught me this. I just really thought that the plumbing work would speak for itself. I, I, I think that's a very common misconception that because we're plumbers and we're fixers, but in reality, like, like we learn in the success Academy, they don't customers, and, and, and not to a fault for the customers, they don't know how to judge us based on our plumbing work. They just, they just know, is the plumbing problem still there or is it not? But they can, they can judge you by the way you look and the way you act and the way you treat them. And, and that, that's all my perspective on that is all grown out of, of the success Academy. Cause it's the whole experience, right? It's the it's a whole, whole experience. thing. From, from how you answer the phones to how they see you um, at a gas station, you know, the trucks at the gas station to how you pull up in their driveway. I'm sure, like Allison, you said, you've got, you know, these um, female customers and they don't want their neighbors to see some creeper van. Right. See, right. <laughs> they, they see this nice, gorgeous, big Wally plumbing truck and they're like, I, I just, I got the best. And it doesn't equate to, oh, they're going to be expensive. No. See, that's our fear from the plumbing side. That, you know, when we're starting, we think, oh, they're going to think I'm expensive, whatever, mm -hmm. you know, but that's not it. It's, no. it's safe and secure. Yep. And there's a dude but, magnet too, right? Yeah. I mean, it's a dude yeah. magnet. Because you can dude. give your plumbers, your staff, these really gorgeous trucks, or you can give them the creeper van to work right. out. It's of, right? such a drastic difference when we pull up to the supply house and there are most, most vans are not branded like, like that around us. And, and I think that holds true in a lot of the, the United States, like when, when you, when you brand yourself with a high quality company like kick charge, it shows, I mean, it, it is, it, it's far and away the, the best I've ever seen. Yeah. You can tell when somebody has been kick charged. They've been kick charged. Right Love on, that. right on. <laughs> Love that. Hey guys, okay. you've, you've heard, a, there's been a lot of nuggets dropped here. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you may want to go back and re-listen to this or watch it. Um, Cause a lot of, a lot of great, uh, yeah, a lot of great stuff from Tony and Allison. Um, guys, while we're, you know, we're getting close to wrapping up here, I, what what would be something that you would tell some, someone that's listening or watching or yourselves, you know, two or three years ago mm -hmm. that um, would encourage, what, what, them. Yeah, that would yeah. encourage them or information? You go first. I think we probably have maybe have the same one is trust the process. Do what you guys are, are telling everybody to do and you just don't you have to trust it and your your life is just going to change so much for the better um that's a, probably it for me yeah i would i would i would echo that and i would just say that wherever you are in your plumbing business journey you've gotten yourself there and you should be proud of that and yes. and if you want to go further there's no shame in asking for help there's no shame in needing help all of us here needed help and we're all successful and we treat our customers great. There is a whole process to, to this program. And if you don't know, and you're just trying to figure it out on your own, you can spend way more time and, and following results that may not ever come, but these results are proven and they benefit you. They benefit your family. They benefit your customers. And, and, and that's all, that's all we're worried about here. So I would just say, get help and and you'll be successful because it's a proven system i'm, oh, I'm proof yeah. of it. you're gonna find a real support group who understands what you have gone through and are going through more than anybody else in the world we're all in it together so that's yes very we are 
Oh. Good words. Yes, it is a good thank you guys. Peers, we're we are a community for sure. Um, and it's it just so funny how that happens. So that isn't something that we expected when we started MDP, right? We yeah, thought we're beyond. Just, yeah, we we did. Yeah, business yeah. and and all that. But yeah, it is definitely a community of people that truly want others to succeed. Mm -hmm. Um, to not only succeed in their business, but also raise the um the bar when it comes to the trade of plumbing. Right? Stop with the right. butt crack plumbers. Stop with the um, being hacked. Stop. This, mm -hmm. Plumbing is a professional, honorable, needed yeah. um, profession. It just, it is. Um, so let's raise the bar um, and, and make plumbing what it should be. Yeah. And I, and I love the, the power of, you know, I, you know, I'm, I, 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 I like, I like being with the guys. And so I love, and of course I, I, you know, I, I know a lot because I've, I've made a lot of mistakes and I've been, you know, I've been around for a while. Right. Mm -hmm. um, but I love, I learn from each of every, you know, everyone who's in the success Academy and we're getting together. Like I'm looking forward as, as we, as we're doing this, as we're recording oh, yes. this, this, this uh, podcast um, and in a couple of weeks, we're all going to be together. Uh, what, what we call a freedom lifestyle retreat. We're going to be in Cancun, Mexico. And, uh, and it, it, not only do we, you know, learn some things, but it, we learn the most by just hanging out together and just talking about life and our businesses. And I learned so much, um, every single time at these retreats. Yes. Even though I, I hope I haven't lost any of my credibility because I'm supposed to be the one that comes across that I know everything. <laughs> you know? But because you're in, you know, we're talking with others. I, I love Tony how you said, you know, you are successful. And we we believe that. If yes. hey, if if you're in a plumbing business, even if you're you're struggling, hey brother, you know, you're successful already. You're in the octagon. You're you're fighting. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're you're getting you're getting it done. We're just talking about how do we we take it to the level that you really want. Right. And so mm -hmm. when you're talking with other fighters who have been in the octagon, hey, we, we all learn from one another what to do and what not to do. And it's, right. it's just a powerful time. Yes. You know? So it is a community thing. And that's that's yes. one thing that we definitely love. Yep. So oh guys. Tony and Allison, thank you guys so much for sharing your story, for for being on potty talk for sure. Being, being so open of, and transparent. Yes being a part of the MDP community. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you all for you having us. Yeah. And thank you all for uh, letting us be a part of this. This has been amazing. Yeah, that's awesome. I, it look, if, if anything we say today helps as much as, as, as what you guys have helped me along the way, I've watched every episode. I'm, I'm quite the fan. So it's, a, <laughs> oh. it's really, it's really awesome that I'm actually on a, one of the podcasts. Oh. So well, we it's our honor. You. Yeah. Thank well, you, I'm a fan it's of you, brother. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. I respect what you've done. Okay. Okay. Oh, guys, thanks again. Yes. Thank you guys Absolutely. so much for being thank on. Appreciate hey, it. And we'll see you really soon. Yeah. Yes. See you really <laughs> soon. All right. See you then. All, All right. right. Thanks, Take care. Guys. All right. Bye bye. Bye. -bye. bye. Well, I just, I, I love them. I got to say, I mean, they are, they're just a, a great couple. And just again, a, just a heart of gold yeah. and just truly caring people. And just uh, for him, because, you know, a lot of people we talk to, they've got their business has only been, you know, in, in existence for a few years. But Wally's, you know, it's been since 2006 and major transitions and all the, the different iterations and things that he went through. Um, and now just to have the, the freedom lifestyle that they have. Um, I just, I love hearing that. And I just appreciate, you know, I respect him for being transparent and mm -hmm. just, you know, he was already, I loved that the point that he, that he made that, you know, it was, he was successful, mm -hmm. you know, we're, and I think I said, you know, we're all successful, you know, you're successful if you're in the octagon getting it done. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. But it was, it was just, but it wasn't thriving. Yeah. It that, wasn't that was such a great word, mm -hmm. you know, and, and that's the point here. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, and it takes, it takes courage. It takes, um, you know, it takes, takes, you know, a guy that says, Hey, I, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to ask somebody, you know, yep. I'm gonna, and see if we can't figure this thing What's out. What's the famous saying? Um, nothing changes. Um, what, oh, no, I've just forgot. Um, you, nothing changes unless you change, yes. right? You, nothing's going to change unless you make some changes. Well, and, and what's the definition of insanity? So, yeah. so you're, sorry to cut you off there. Mm. I mean, but the, the, the definition of insanity, and that's mm. what we found, you know, we were doing that. Same thing and over and over. You're doing the things over and over and over again. Expecting. Okay, different results. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Crazy. Okay. Yes. And so but, if you get Tony, out of the yeah. crazy. Yes. So, so Tony made the decision to make a change. Right. To make a change in, in something that he was very comfortable with, with the, the GC work and, and all those things and working on call and, and having to answer the phones. That's what they knew. Um, and Allison said, you know, they didn't know any differently. Yeah. So, but yeah, nothing's going to change unless you make a change. And it's only up to you. You're the plumbing business owner. You're the one that needs to make the change. It's, there's, there's no, you got nobody else talking to you and telling you what you need to do. It's up to you. And I so. love it, you know, and they would say it, you know, 
there's not anything, they, they weren't anything special. Mm-hmm. It's not like they're in a special area and mm-hmm. things are different. Right. You know, it's, it's, it's the same way everywhere. Yep. Okay. It's, it's the same, same way everywhere. Story. It all depends on our story. What are we going to do about it? Okay. Right. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, hey, look, if, you, if you're ready to, to stop the, the crazy, <laughs> okay, and, and ready to make a change, mm-hmm. all right, let's talk. Okay. Mm-hmm. Simply go to the million dollar plumber.com forward slash call. Mm-hmm. All right. We'll have a conversation. Mm-hmm. Okay. And we'll, yep. we'll go from there. All right, so there mm-hmm. we go. Okay. All right. Hey, great, great episode. Great episode. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, thanks to them for joining us. All right, but before I let you go, as always, I want to remind you that you were purposefully and wonderfully created, and you were created to do great things. So plumb like a champion. Bye, everybody. <laughs>